Aries, what do we have going on in general for you in the month of March? And they're saying, you're feeling really happy. Like everything worked out the way it's supposed to. Like everything is just successful and wonderful and people look up to you and it's great and it's good vibes everywhere. So good for you. What is your challenge? And they're saying, um, well, <laughs> some of you have, some have suppressed some serious uh, emotional ish. You just didn't want to deal with it. So you swallowed your feelings. And you know, um, that could be in a literal sense, could be like emotional eating. But for most of you, it's more just like you're holding on to feelings that you need to release because it's not for your highest good to carry those around with you every day. You might feel fatigued. You might feel tired. You might feel kind of heavy. Um, even though you have all of these wonderful things kind of going on for you, uh, as a result of carrying those emotions with you. So what kind of vibes are you putting out? And they're saying that you're a little bit confused about what it is that you want. What is it that you value the most? What's the most important thing to you? So you may be talking about the things that you think are important to you, but you haven't quite sorted it out yet. And that sends a lot of mixed messages to other people because maybe what you're saying um, doesn't match up with what you're doing or what you're showing them, even though your intention is potentially good. Um, maybe that's not the way you want things to look or to feel. Maybe you want to get really focused, but you're just not quite there yet. And so what is some guidance in order to help you get focused and figure it out? And they're saying you're too enmeshed in your own situation. You got to stand back and look at it as an outsider. Like um, you've got to really look at your life and say, okay, um, what's the biggest what's the big picture here? And like, what are the decisions that I'm making that are deterring me from the big picture or helping me along my path? So you, but before you make any decisions, before you take any actions, you really got to step back and you got to look at that. Like, what is it that I value the most? What is the most important thing to me? And then does this help me or deter me from achieving that end goal? Right? So let's look at finance or career, or work, money, that kind of stuff. What's the general energy for you in March? And they say you might not be being generous enough with your time, with your energy, all that stuff, but you're not really worried about it. You realize that you have some decisions to make that you can do this or you can do that. So um, let's say that you step it up and you start putting in a little bit more um, generosity, time, efforts, or you don't. What is the outcome? And they're saying... If you are to be a little bit more giving with your time, your energy, um, even your money, like what you give out, you will get back. And so that's definitely uh, a very wise and smart move for you here. You'll be sitting pretty if you do, especially in regards to communication. So this is a month where you want to be over communicative with your clients um, or with your colleagues at work, that kind of a thing, because what you give out verbally, you will get back financially. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, if you don't do that, you'll be fucking yourself big time and you'll be sad about it. So in a financial way. So think about that. What are the challenges um, that you'll be facing or the lessons you'll be learning in March in regards to money, career, and finance? And they're saying, um, well, you're refusing to let things go, okay, because this came up um, in reverse. So what it's saying is you're refusing to understand that Endings are not really endings, they're new beginnings. So you're unwilling to change and that has to change. You have to be more open to change, to shift in and um, do things a little bit differently than you have in the past because it hasn't been working for you. All these new wonderful blessings are trying to come in for you and you're just like pushing them away like, no, I don't want that because I don't want to change. So something to keep in mind is that Something's out of balance in your life, hence the need to stand back and like look at these things realistically. So whatever it is, you've got to do what you have to do in order to correct it. And you know, like with a goat here, okay, it might feel sometimes like I'm getting that some of you is just about eating garbage food because <laughs> goats eat garbage. That's silly. Um, but but it doesn't help you climb the mountain then, right? Because mountain goats like they can do all this weird stuff and they can achieve balance on this like really rocky mountain despite the fact that they're eating garbage <laughs> so so they're like but but because you're so close like you can't see the strongholds right in front of you you've got to stand back and go okay well that would be a good strategic move in order to climb this mountain right okay moving on to your love life if you are a single Aries what's the vibe for you Trying to shift your perspective, see things differently, not get engaged in toxic situations or with toxic people. Now, um, what is the challenge in doing that? Like envisioning what a happy life looks like and how do you contribute to that happy life? It's not finding the perfect partner. It's being the perfect 
partner for somebody as well. But the, the issue is that sometimes your pride, um, it's not that you have too much pride, okay? But it's like, I and I need to develop a little bit more empathy and understand where other people are coming from in order to be a better version of myself, to be the best partner for somebody else, to create this happy and stable environment. So maybe people that you're meeting, like you're just not jiving with them because you're not understanding each other entirely. And it's not an always, it's not 100% your fault. It's not 100% their fault. But it's like, you've got to be a, um, like, listen twice, talk once kind of a person, like really process what other people are saying. Now, um, it's saying if you are able to connect with music, this will be very helpful for you. If you can, um, you know, sing at the top of your lungs in your car, if you can go out and shake it a little bit, that would be helpful for you. It'll, it'll kind of help you to like, if you're listening to the lyrics of a song, <clears throat> even if nobody is in your spirit to relate to on an empathetic kind of level, at least you're still practicing, you know, feeling the emotions of somebody else through their song is helping you to relate to other people better and ex understand their experience. Now, um, how can you better uh, attract the right person into your life in March? And they say, like your passion and stuff, like this excitement and enthusiasm, we have to amp that up a little bit. And when you feel that, take advantage of it. Because um, some of you are sitting in this kind of like hopeless energy, which doesn't serve you. It's saying that um, some of you are sort of depressed. And so that doesn't help you bring in somebody new. And so they're like, you know, get out there, talk to people, be excited about it. And then that enthusiasm that you have can help attract somebody into your life. Now, for those of you who are coupled, what's up with Aries who are coupled? And they're saying, um, well, you're not done working through a lesson or something that you're learning in your relationship, but it is time to make decisions about the relationship. And it's saying you have to have a more hopeful and optimistic attitude. You're not feeling confident about it. And you're not necessarily, um, and you realize that you're in this relationship. But you're not like putting out this like single vibe or I want to be single vibe. But the thing is, is that you're worrying about things that you don't need to worry about. Worrying doesn't change an outcome. You know, like in your partnership, you can not control every single thing there. Okay. And by worrying about it, you're only bringing fear and negativity into the relationship. So you just have to let it go. It doesn't serve anybody. And so what they're saying is you've got to be silent and kind of pay attention. Um to your own feelings and are they valid or are they are they just worries are they fears is this a real thing or is it a fear and then um notice kind of what's going on inside your body like what kind of physical responses are you having to different conversations like if you get anxiety if you get panicked about you know like a text message coming from your partner then why why is that think about it for a second is it what they're saying or is it um like because you lied to them or is it because you're in a toxic relationship that you shouldn't be in if you're feeling loved um conversely like when you get a text message it's like why does this make me feel so good what did they say specifically how did that touch me and then how can i kind of send a message back that would um be similar that would have the similar effect what is it that my partner's doing that's making me feel really, really wonderful so that I can pay that forward to them and grow a beautiful, healthy relationship? That's how it works. This month is all about empathy for you, okay? Now, for those of you who are somewhere in between, maybe you're in an on-again, off-again relationship, it's not official, what's your deal? And they're saying, well, you've got to be really clear and specific on what it is that you desire, what it is that you want. Some of you are in an on-again, off-again relationship because you don't view your relationship as successful, um, but you're not able to leave it yet because you are still in love or um, you do still see something within that partnership that you want to um, kind of grow or build upon. But what they're saying is for more of you, it's this love. It's this love that you have for your partner um, and you're required to take an action in order to show them more love because they're not necessarily feeling it. They don't feel, it's not that they feel disconnected from you, but they don't feel heard or they don't feel understood, which is why empathy is so important. So if you want your relationship to go somewhere, you're gonna have to figure out how to develop that and how to meet them on their level. Okay, understand what it is that they truly need. So that sucks. It's not, I mean, it doesn't suck. Like, it'd be awesome if you could do it, but it sucks because it's hard. It's not easy. Like, oh, just develop empathy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 
Um, so they're saying, use your imagination, okay? Use your imagination to before you're engaging. Like, how would this make this person feel? How can I make them feel happier? And you're not entirely responsible for your partner's happiness, but you are re responsible for what you're um, contributing to the relationship, positive or negative. Does that make sense? Okay, so... What is going on with your emotions or your personal development in the month of March? And they're saying you might not be investing in that enough. Um, it's because you're just like, you know what? Things are positive. They're stable. They're good enough. You know, whatever I've done so far, it's fine. I'm just going to like focus on my work life. But the thing is, is you really do need to pour some love into um, what you're doing in in regards to all areas of your life, because that's going to help you to feel more in control. It's going to help you to shift perspective. It's going to help you to communicate and bond with other people better. And then you're going to feel, um, it's like some of you are just, I don't want to say that you're selfish because it's not necessarily the right word. It's more like you're, you're so focused on your own emotions that it puts a negative taste in other people's mouths. And you might not even realize that because your emotions are primarily like, first and foremost, like your responsibility, right? So there's nothing wrong with that, but we have to be a little bit more, um, it's just empathy is so important for you this month, Aries. It really is. It really, really is. Um, so they're saying, you know, you might be having some regret. Okay. But the thing is, is you can't change the past. The only thing you can do is build a different future. And so you've got to be really cognizant of like, if I'm doing the same things over and over and these haven't worked for me, like, why am I still doing them? You know, if it affects a person or a situation or like a client a certain way, like why am I still doing it that way if I know this? And so you've, that's why empathy is so important because it's only going to make you better. Okay. So they're saying like you can still stand out and let yourself be noticed. And like, you know, it's, it's not that you're, um, but like you want to be noticed for your compassion this month. You want to be noticed for your empathy, for your ability to bond with people on a very deep level. And that's not necessarily something you have to do every single month. But this month, it was so important. 